R.I.P. Yellow Marker. Hi, art friends. Hi, art friends. Hope you're ready to see some really big markers, because look at these. <laughs> look how chunky they are. And I'm going to give you a little close-up of what these things look like inside the caps. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to count you down from three, oh, three two, one. <laughs> Look how big that is! Those are some chunky ended markers. They're huge! If you're curious guys, they are Pasca pens. Just super, super chunky ones. I think it might be the biggest size they come in. Or there might even be bigger ones. There might even be bigger ones than those now. If there is, we should get our hands on them. <laughs> Adam's ordered in so that this huge card, so, you know, because you need big paper. You need big paper when big you're pens. working with big pens. Yeah! So let's get some of this out. Do you have any idea what are you going to do in these? No idea! <laughs> I think the trick might be working big though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm not going too small. Are we going straight in with the markers? Yeah. Oh no! That's what I'm all about. Oh no! This is where it's either the best idea ever or the worst idea it's, ever. It's gonna be interesting, put it that way. I'm gonna use this as my art board. It's a bit wobbly, but it'll do. <laughs> oh, I am excited to get drawing. <laughs> okay, let's do this! Okay. Adam's just noticed that there's a hole through the card. Something's been eating my card. I mean, I know I got it super cheap, but it Where looks like... Where is it? Is it there? Is that it? Yeah, you can kind of see something there. Right there. But basically it's gone through like a lot of the paper. Really, all of them? I didn't notice that when, when it came. I don't think it was either of our guinea pigs. We haven't even put it even near them. Yeah, first you said, I wonder if the guinea pigs have chewed it. Maybe we've got rats. That'll be something to look forward to. I think in the post they've stabbed it with something. Post rat has been eating my mail again. <laughs> so yeah, let's just ignore that I've got that little chunk missing out of my paper. We can incorporate it into the design. Let's just flip that over. So you, do you know what you're going for already? Um, I found a reference goal. I'm not going to really stick to the reference because when you're going straight in with something like I know, this, right? It's nice to have something kind of in mind. Something this big too. Oh no, I feel nervous. <laughs> you know when you get that fear of a blank page when you first start drawing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting it with these. You can do it! I never draw like this big either. I know, right? Like it's a challenge drawing on like this size paper. Even when we use the art graph, you liked to keep it quite small. Yeah, that's sort of how I usually work. She has a lovely side parting. I'm just thankful that it looks a bit like hair <laughs> at the moment. The cool thing about paint markers is that you can overlay them on top of each other once you let them dry. Mm -hmm. Because it's obviously paint and not a uh, marker ink. That's kind of useful. So, and we've actually we've actually got a white paint marker too. So I guess if we do really screw up, yeah. But because it's paint, it kind of mixes with the colours underneath. Oh. So I'm trying to put in some facial details, which I think is going to be one of the hardest parts. Are those cute little lips? Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to get the face out the way with first, because <laughs> it's a bit I'm more scared about. I'm kind of worried too, because I work really rough. And with this, you kind of have to just go straight in with a final idea, and I'm always like, eee. That's really <laughs> cute looking already. Oh, those are some thick eyebrows. <laughs> oh, beautiful. But you can tell that it's a... Uh, we know it's a face, a face right? Yeah. yeah. Bit of an abstract one, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, some bows. See, I think you were way too nervous. I think you... You're doing great with I'm this I'm really so excited far. to see how you're going to handle this. I'm not. <laughs> In oh, fact, no. I'm going to start no. filming you. No. So you can see what Adam's going to no. do. No. Adam's turn. Oh, this goes against everything how I draw. <laughs> Goes against everything I've ever learned. Yeah, but you made me use that graphite stuff the other week. You could erase that if you really wanted to. No. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we're okay, guys. <laughs> Everything's okay. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> Look at that little hand. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't know where to go. I think it's interesting you're going in with line art. Yeah. Because I haven't done any line art. Cause it, I think it's just because like it's it's all I know. Does that make any Is sense? Is that how your brain's programmed to yeah. draw stuff? Because normally I'd be able to figure out a lot of it by myself, but because I have to go straight in, I'm like, oh, where does that go? What kind of hair do you think this person should have? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to. This is what I need to support more than ever. A bob cut. A bob cut. Oh, okay. 
That doesn't help us. I'm trying to get, gonna try and hide some of it with long hair, and you're like, "Oh, make it short." Then why do you ask me for advice if my advice is because wrong? Because you've got beautiful long hair. <laughs> Draw my hair then. Your hair, okay. Do you guys ever do that where you ask someone for advice, but you've only got like one answer in mind yeah. anyway? It's like you can you can answer my question, but you have to give me this answer. <laughs> yeah. You've given this hair. It's so long. Oh my god, the anatomy and everything is terrible. I quite like it. It's got a lot of like sketchy energy. <laughs> That's very, it's a very nice way of saying it looks unfinished. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes unfinished things can look cooler than finished things. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. I'm getting nervous, he's getting further ahead than me now. <laughs> You've got a really big head. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Not in real life, but in this, your head's looking kind of big. No, let the black dry first. You're gonna get all black in the oh, yellow. Am I too ahead of myself? Yes, let me have a go. Okay. What do you think so far? Aww, it's going pretty well. You have a very long arm. I mean, as you can see, guys, you only get very limited colours in this pack, but the yeah. colours are really nice. I, I do think like them. The bigger ones do come in more limited colours anyway. Like the oh. smaller the size, the more colours the seem to come in, and oh. then the bigger. Um, probably because. Most artists or whatever probably want finer tips to yeah, put yeah. stuff with. Oh, I love these. They were such a thoughtful present and I'm so happy we get to use them in a video too. Yours is looking very cute. <laughs> the closer I get to the face, the more anxious I am because <laughs> I have no idea how to get like her neck and stuff in. Well, because it's like white at the minute, she has a very long pointy chin. <laughs> no, that's not all her face. <laughs> chin goals. Oh, I'm nervous to go on with the black because it's such a bold line. Like Do it. <clears throat> I'm gonna try maybe with the yellow Aww. to outline of this. Oh, there we go. Hey, that turned out. That turned out well. Yeah. <laughs> Breathe, girl. <laughs> yeah, that that actually looks really cute. Oh. Whenever I go in straight with like ink, mm -hmm. in this case paint marker, it's always the legs I'm most anxious of. Drawing legs is hard. Well, it's just if you get the length wrong, it'll make the character look really out of proportion. Well, if you do one leg wrong, you can make the other one a peg leg and make her, her a cute pirate. I'll keep that in mind for <laughs> all my future drawings. When in doubt, pirate out. <laughs> if you see me drawing tons of pirates in the future, you know that's my new technique. <laughs> <laughs> she could have a hook too, if you get really stuck, she'd have a peg leg and a hook. Oh, no. she's fine, she's fine. <laughs> Oh no, hands. Why your hands have to be so hard? Oh, look at those cookie grabbers. No, I don't look at those. Nom <laughs> um, nom nom. Pretend they're good. I think it's really cute. You'll be way too hard on yourself in this one, you know? I mean, I guess it is a challenge in a, in a way, but you, you're doing a really good job. Oh, that works oh. really well with that colour too. Ah! <laughs> the page like moved. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> It's very, like, abstract. It's cool though, I really like how vibrant it is. What are you doing with that blue? <laughs> I'm gonna shove it up my nose. <laughs> Good luck, it's massive. I've also given you, like, a massive cuff, and on the top that you are wearing, they're very thin cuffs, I don't know what I was doing. And that, your hair also isn't that long. <laughs> I don't even know who this person is anymore. Oh, you're doing my jumper? Yeah, well, oh. I was gonna give it a try anyway. I could tell as soon as you went in with a blue stripe, just in case you haven't noticed. Got some blue and some darker, uh, yellow, green. I might, I might not do all of them. It doesn't colors. have green. Doesn't it? I wouldn't buy a top with green in what it. What colour's that one? What colour's that? Orange. Oh, it looks green to me. <laughs> At least I know never to buy you anything with green on. <laughs> could you pass me that? Is it a purple or a dark blue? This or? is a dark blue. Yeah, we'll use that one too. we do you another yellow one. Yeah. I mean, it's cute that whenever you don't know what to draw, you'll draw me. <laughs> Even when we're not recording, if I don't know what to draw, I tend to just look at Steph and go, Oh, that looks cute, I'll draw that. <laughs> she just said, that looks cute, in <laughs> reference to me. <laughs> I like that. But yeah, something kind of like this. I don't think I'm doing the best job, but... No, mm. oh, I think you're doing a really good job. I hope you'll get the idea. Literally, the second I stop recording, Adam takes the lid off that cap and it goes flying all the way <laughs> over there. I had an accident. I did an adult. No, you're smudging it into the black. It's a beautiful mustard yellow. Oh. It's very, very Although, pretty. I can't tell him off because I bought these for him, so I guess he's allowed to muck <laughs> them up if he wants to. just mix them all together. No! <laughs> I want to try and... I, I think it's dry. I want to try and colour in your hair. R.I.P. yellow marker. Oh, it'll, it'll be okay. 
I don't know if I'm making this worse. <laughs> you have to be nice to it because it's of me. I know. I'm thinking like, oh, I want to do a good job if it's going to be Steph. And I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, what the heck am I doing? See, there's no pressure on me because I don't even know who I'm drawing. <laughs> I don't even know who she is. I think I will wait for this to dry and go over the hairlines again. And then <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I should have actually planned it like yours and tried to work better in shapes, but the way I've learned to draw, I have to do everything in lines. Like, oh, do you I wish guys, I could draw in lines. Do you guys like work in shapes like Steph, your colour in a shape and work from that? Or do you work in lines? Because I, I just can't work that way. I have to line everything. No, I find lines really, really difficult. Really? Mm. That's so weird considering you taught me how to draw as well. <laughs> But that's the thing, everyone has like their own approach to stuff. Hmm. I, I don't know if to give you red or pink cheeks. What would you, you go for the pink, you the red pink. is so bright. <laughs> is Even it? the pinks. No, you're grabbing the red. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll give you like some red socks or something, because that red's really nice. <laughs> some little red circles on those cheeks. Oh! Someone's been dropping that girl compliments. She's blushing. What kind of things have people been saying to me to make me blush? Um. I really like your dress sense. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm blushing so hard right now. Compliment me in the comments, guys. <laughs> just, just just type in, you have really nice dress sense there. <laughs> Instant blush. <laughs> there we go. That's me blushing. <laughs> I can't tell everyone my secret, like, pickup techniques, because you might run away. <laughs> All these lovely YouTube commenters are like, whisk you up your feet. How about some red stripes? Because I know you're really into your bed socks. How about we give you some stripey bed socks? Okay. Some red stripey ones. Because I know you really like... Uh, Steph really likes Christmas designs, guys. Yeah. So these will kind of look like candy canes, maybe. I oh, like sailor patterns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like nautical uh, patterns. Nautical? I don't, I, I, nautical. <laughs> yeah, like, you guys know what it is. Oh, I'd love a pair of socks like that in real life. Isn't she Christmassy now? Um, it's a shame I've used the light blue because you have like that pinafore and that works really well with the dark blue but I've already used it in that. Oh yeah, you'd end up losing it on top of that. I wonder if I, I wonder if there's a way where I can just avoid those two colours because I think that would look pretty good. <clears throat> oh, oh, he's going in! <laughs> oh, let's try and colour this bit. I just need to try and avoid these two. Because mm. it would actually look like something you'd wear if I can get this in. <laughs> That would make me very happy. Okay, this dress is starting to look very plain, so I want to try put a flower pattern on. Oh, okay. But before I'm going straight in, I want to do some test flowers. No! You're not swatching, are you? No, I'm not swatching. <laughs> I'm just experimenting with different flower shapes that I could do with these. Ooh, do it looks cute. you can cute. tell that they're meant to be flowers. Yeah, of course. It's nice that my little testy swatches can actually be used as part of the... Part of the design, really. The design, it looks good. Yeah. Isn't she talented? Okay, I guess it's time to try and add some of these to the outfit. Oh, oh I want to see. I love how colourful Pasca Pen barrels are. Yeah, they are really... Like, there's no mistake in what colour that could possibly be. <laughs> yeah, that is pink. Aww. They could even be interpreted as little hearts, as like some of them too. Yeah, they kind of are. It's kind of fun what sort of abstract shapes this makes, with it being rectangular. Yeah, guys, don't ever feel like you're uh, held back by a certain art supply. You can, it can kind of force some creativity and you can see what you can yeah, come up Yeah, sometimes it can force you to come up with some interesting shapes. Especially yeah. stuff that you never thought you actually would. See, I mean, look at those thin lines that you've managed to come up with. <laughs> even though it's huge. Aw, oh, what a cutie. What a cutie patootie. I know why you're blushing now. Oh, why am I blushing? It's because you've seen me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the amazing thing about art, guys. You can create whatever your heart's desire. <laughs> That's very sorry. It's such like a generic heart red, this red. <laughs> it's perfect for romance. It is like part of our life, or part of our everyday life. I'm like, oh, you look cute today, honey. And you're like, oh, thank you. It's like I'm walking off and I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know it. You know I'm cute. So if you've been watching this video and you've been thinking, these drawings are too big, you should check out our video where we drew <laughs> tiny things with little watercolours. <laughs> yeah, quit complaining and watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe as well. And we'll see you again on Tuesday. For another doodle date. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.